The Simpsons. One of the cornerstones of television. As long as I've been alive, The Simpsons have always been there. And it's something that is just comforting, you know? Like a warm blanket. Had a bad day? Watch a Simpsons episode. Nervous due to a school exam? Watch The Simpsons. A date? Simpsons. If there's a problem, there's an episode that seems catered to bring joy and help soothe that problem. Every morning I wake up and I watch an episode when I'm preparing breakfast. The voice actors who have been there since the beginning are like gods in the dubbing world. But what if I told you that one of the best versions of Homer Simpson, our favorite bumbling family man, did not come from the United States, but from Quebec, Canada. Back up until the 70s, French dub was usually done in France and featured a lot of weird name pronunciations. For example, the first name Casey is now a Kaze. Michael Myers from the Halloween series? Well, in the first movie on VHS, he's called Michel Meyer. Also, dubs done in France included, and most of them still include, slang words that are a bit hard to understand. Now, I'm not saying that all of France's dubbing work is bad. There has been some great, great work over the years, like Back to the Future, Jurassic Park, Akira, most of the Studio Ghibli stuff, and everyone's favorite movie on the face of the earth. Say the line, Bart. Shrek. Yeah! But in the late 80s, something started to change. More and more productions started being dubbed in our province, and the dubbing was done by Quebec actors from cinema, television, and theater, giving them work between productions. And one evening, the first Simpsons episode aired on the Super Ecran channel, which is the equivalent to HBO. So, after all this, the pilot starts, and you hear the voice. Marge, -tu ta maudite the legend himself, Hubert Gagnon. Hubert Gagnon was born on September 29th, 1947, in Longueuil, Quebec. He started his television career in 1969 on a television show called Les Oraliens, which was a show aimed at promoting the French language by mixing science fiction and education. As a sort of educational Star Trek, it has definitely aged, but when you compare it to most original content that was on Quebec television during that period, it's a cute piece of forgotten TV history. He's that guy, by the way, wearing an orange tennis ball. After Les Oraliens, he appeared in a couple of 70s and early 80s shows, just small roles here and there. No lead roles, except for one. One obscure TV show which aired in 1971 and ran for five episodes, called Flip et Compagnie, which translates to Flip and Friends. And the plot? I don't know. The only information that is available on this show is on the French Wikipedia page. And the plot is, well, basically this. Through the characters, kids will see how the good citizen behaves in situations set for him by the bad citizen. Whatever that means. So, once again, after all these roles here and there, all these projects, all these TV shows, his first major gig in voice acting was none other than Optimus Prime in Transformers. How awesome is that? Autobot, transformation! En route pour la centrale d'énergie! With the deep voice that Hubert had, how was that gonna work on Homer Simpson? His original voice is so iconic. Just looking at a picture of the family man, and we can all hear as usual... <laughs> well, to me, Hubert Gagnon's spin on Homer is some of the best voice acting work out there. Why? Because he sounds like a normal person. Someone who's got his priorities in the right places, most of the time, but still doesn't seem to fully understand the world he lives in. The goofiness of his voice is scaled way back, but when he needs to be funny... There's a crayon in my brain? Un crayon dans mon cerveau? 
you feel it. And when he has to put his foot down, you feel the authority in his voice. Damn right. Bart, you can't go to see that itchy and scratchy movie ever. <gasps> T'as bien raison. Bart, t'iras jamais voir la vue de itchy pis scratchy. Uh -oh. Hubert Gagnon's voice work is perfectly walking that line between funny and serious while always sounding relatable. He was gifted a badass yet very versatile voice. We're talking about a guy who was voicing Hollywood legends like Mel Gibson, William H. Macy, Christopher freaking Walken, and martial arts all-time great and chair enthusiast Steven Seagal is staggering 12 times. Can't fix this damn thing. Another moment that I love that really showcases Hubert's talent is in the episode The Wizard of Evergreen Terrace, season 10, episode 2. It's the scene where Homer is really excited to show his family his first few inventions. You can hear the tone of his voice. He's very, very excited to hear Marge's feedback. He can barely contain himself. But when she says her opinion, They're terrible. What? He can't believe what he's hearing. The work that Dan Castellaneta is doing here is very good, but when Hubert Gagnon gets a crack at the scene... Oui? Elles sont pas très... Oui, oui, oui? Elles sont épouvantables. Quoi? The word that he uses is exactly the same, but the gasp and tone that he accompanies with the word is just spot on. He feels genuinely betrayed and hurt. It's like a stab in the heart. Hubert Gagnon voiced Homer Simpson from season 1 all the way to the very end of season 27. Then he was replaced by Thierry Dubay because he was undergoing chemotherapy at the time. Thierry has some impossible shoes to fill, to be honest. But he deserves some praise due to his work studying Mr. Gagnon's speech pattern so that his voice, even though different, still feels like Hubert work. Wow! You'll get to enjoy the most magical part of married life, the beginning. Wow! Tu vas vivre la partie la plus magique qu'il n'y a pas dans le mariage d'un couple. Les premiers temps. Entre Marge et moi, il y a une chose qui pourra jamais être brisée. Un mariage fort bâti sur la fondation la plus solide au monde, la routine. So at the end of the day, if you prefer the French version, the original version, the Quebec version, the Spanish version, the Japanese version, that's fine. As long as you enjoy The Simpsons, it's all that matters. I wanted to talk about Mr. Gagnon's work because dubbing, to me, is an art form. When it's done right, it can elevate the original material and present it in a new perspective. As Mr. Gagnon said in an interview, a good dub dubbing goes unnoticed. Ayo Miyazaki famously said that, to him, the best way to enjoy his movie, Porco Rosso, is through the French dub because Jean Reno is doing the voice of the protagonist and his work is fantastic. As a kid, I was in love with the French dub of South Park. The jokes were landing great and the voices were awesome, especially the guy who was voicing Eric Cartman. So when I decided to switch to the original version, it was like I was discovering the show all over again. Unfortunately, Hubert Gagnon passed away on June 7, 2020, in Longueuil, Quebec, his hometown. When he died, every media outlet in Quebec was talking about it. TV, newspapers, everything. They took a break from the madness of the COVID-19 pandemic to pay their respects. I wanted to pay tribute to him because here, he's a legend, and I thought his work was worth sharing outside of the French language barrier. Even the official Simpsons Instagram page paid tribute to him. He was so iconic in the role that people on the streets were calling him Homer Simpson, and he embraced it. His voice had such a presence, and in interviews, he seemed like such a nice man. And on a side note, you know that your voice work is S-tier when you can make Steven Seagal sound like a good actor. Try it with English subtitles. It's a totally different experience. And now, with Disney+, Plus. His work, as well as the work of the rest of the cast, is available for the whole world to hear. Au revoir, sir. I may not have known you personally, but for me, and millions of others, you were always there. Thank you for watching, please like, comment and subscribe. I plan on releasing a new video every month 
and uh, have a great day. LZTR signing off.